Hey everybody. Last week I um, cracked open some old biomed equipment to harvest some stuff out. It was in the throwaway pile at work. It was a, a few um, medical grade blood pressure monitor machines that had the battery backup and stuff in them and some of them have pretty robust um, membrane compressor pumps. It can be a compressor or a vacuum depending on um, which which um, side you connect to. Very robust little pump. <laughs> um, I don't know the actual maximum head pressure it can produce but it operates very quietly which is probably helpful to lower the anxiety of having that blood pressure cuff <laughs> monitoring cuff squeeze on your arm but in one of them we had this humongous battery and what's interesting of this about this battery is the rest of the machines that I um, cracked open they all had lead acid batteries in the back of them and not this kind of battery this is either nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride I would guess anyway. I mean, it's got some. It's, it's got. It's definitely got some weight to it. So I'm guessing probably nickel metal hydride. Six cell battery. Um, there's not a whole lot of info on it. Though I think the machine that um, I pulled this from had a 12 volt compressor in it. So I'm gonna assume it's a 12 volt battery. But I said I'd bring it home to do a video on and just see what's inside this thing. We'll, we'll crack open this um, sleeving and look at the cells and see what we have. Now I imagine them cells are probably they're, they're probably food bar because I checked the voltage on the battery pack and it was like like nothing. I'll check it again just to be sure. Yeah, 0.5 volts. So yeah, it's just practically drained down to nothing. We got these very large cells. Um, I assume they're probably like D cells. You know, that about that size, maybe a little larger than that. It's been a while since I've actually had some D cells, um, some D cell alkalines in hand. Just crack the. Um, sleeve right there. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so the cells actually do have um, labeling on them so we can get more information about them. Okay, so are these actually okay, so they say non-spillable. So would that mean lead acid? This is rather Odd. Yeah, it says non spillable. Okay, it's gotta be a better way getting into this thing. I wouldn't doubt if they're actually lead acid because they are quite heavy. Two volts, two point five amp hours. So yeah, they're definitely not nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium. So they're most likely lead acid. <laughs> yeah, instead of having it in a pack, I mean, instead of having it in a big plastic rectangular battery, um. They are in cells like like this. This is rather weird.
some pretty robust wrapping to have on these things too. Which is obviously a good thing. You wouldn't want these things to inadvertently come apart. Yeah, these are lead acid. Notice the, notice the PB. Yep, lead acid. <laughs> I have never seen I have never seen lead acid batteries in cylinder cylindrical shaped cells before. It's amazing how you know there are some things some kinds of tech you know some types of technology out there you know despite the amount of technology there is with batteries out there of course you know today having lithium ion batteries there are still certain things out there that have that, that still use lead acid you know, see, so we do have some corrosion there. But isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> 2 volt, 2.5 amp hours. Hulker Energy. Here's a look at the other side. If I'll wash my hands after this. Hawker Energy Products, Warrensburg, Missouri. Made in USA. Well, you look at there. Not made in China. Not made in Japan. They're actually made in the United States. Let me tell you, these are quite heavy, too. So I'm going to grab a tape measure so we can measure these things. That way you have an idea of exactly how big they are. This battery I'm about to show you is the lead acid battery that came out of my backup UPS. Um, well first let's measure these as I promised. They are Two and a half inches long by one and a quarter inches in diameter. Here is again the battery out of a um, UPS. Just to put it side by side, for example. I'd say pretty similar in size. When you think about it, in a lead acid car battery, you have, I think, six different cells. Or six different sections, which would be each individual cell. To get your nominal 12 volts. So this is a 12 volt battery. And if you look at this battery here, you'll see the six cells there. But yeah, I don't think I've ever seen, I've, I've never seen lead acid batteries in individual cells like this before that are um, assembled into a pack. That's a first for me. <laughs> I noticed they were mighty heavy. That was one thing I that's one thing that struck them as odd to me was they were mighty heavy. And I've always known that lead acid batteries are quite heavy. And just for, for size comparison again, um, this time we'll show you show you a double A cell. So this is a double A cell. There's that. 
and here's an 18650 lithium ion cell. So they're just about as long as an 18650. Not quite, but pretty close. There's a comparison of diameter with the 18650 and now with the double um, A cell. See how these are quite large. I'd imagine this pack here is probably done. Um, I'm not going to waste my time with it. Given it's lead acid. <laughs> I mean, lead acid batteries, they do still have good uses, obviously, for um, your car batteries to be one. Um, they still use them in UPSs. And they still use them in biomed equipment, as I have seen. All the replacement batteries in these blood pressure monitor units um, were lead acid. But that is a massive battery. Um, I don't have a scale on hand to weigh these things, but I can't really can't really guess the exact weight in pounds. It's just yeah, they're they're, they're quite beefy. I have to say that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put these. I'm gonna go ahead and put these into a bag, so that way I can dispose of them and wash my hands really good because um, there is a little bit of corrosion on them, like you would have on a car battery, for example. So yeah, what do you think of that big monster <laughs> lead acid cells in cylindrical form, built into a pack? Very weird, isn't it? You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.